Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. Working if I get it. Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. As usual. Keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge. But our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. Excellent. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. Yay. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. Thanks for the pip to all hack it. Now, back to shouting Krogan, Turians, and Solarians. Wow, that's big. <laughs> They've constructed a lot in very little time. I'm impressed. Alrighty. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Uh... Morden, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. <laughs> Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> difficulty of cure. Do what you can, Morden. This better be worth it. Uh, let's ask about the difficulty. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to a genophage modification project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. <laughs> we'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. <laughs> All right, do what you can, Morden. Then get started, Morden, and make it quick. Always do. We'll be in medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Will do. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. <laughs> what is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Man. Everyone's just getting along so splendidly. All right. Let's see. Save. Let's take a look at anything new we got. Just Solarian. Okay, we got Major Kirhi. Major Kirhi made his mark leading the Solarian Special Tasks Group that helped Commander Shepard stop Saren at Vermeer. Lauded by his superiors for his decisive leadership under fire, Kirhi was promoted and decorated with the prestigious Star of Sirkesh. The Major continues to join missions with his men, believing that nothing substitutes for experience and that the best tactical strategies are planned on the battlefield. Hooray, Kirhi! He is the best. Okay. You wanted to talk? Commander? You said one of your ships had gone missing. Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on two chunks. Why are you blurry? Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? 
I'm sorry. That's classified. Mm-hmm. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of galactic peace. Okay. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help and understanding. Okay, let's see. Um, have we actually discussed these with him before? I don't think so. Turian help for Earth. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Okay, your new duties. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I can relate. Sure. <laughs> I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader. Yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. All right. Sounds good to me. Palavan situation. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. The Krogan will help you. <laughs> The Krogan will make sure that doesn't happen. Assuming you're successful with the cure. Oh, don't worry so much. Be. Yeah. You have to be, Commander. I don't want to go down as history's last Primarch. Okay. I will do my best. Turian ship on Tuchanka. Your men that crashed on Tuchanka. How many are there? A platoon. You said their mission was a matter of galactic peace. Why? I'm sorry, Commander. As I said, it's highly classified. Look, if you want me to put my ass on the line, I need answers. I can't tell you. Please understand. The commander is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. He'll be your contact. All Victus? Right. My son. <gasps> I needed someone I could trust completely. Oh no! We'll save your son, don't worry. After the genophage cure. The Solarian Dalatras worries about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. Last stand? Krogan make unusual allies. Yeah, what about the last stand? How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons, directing them against our colonies. Of course they did. We had no choice. The genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. That makes a lot of sense to me. Okay, Krogan make unusual allies. What does this even mean? Go for it. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now. Standing in a ship of Turian human design. Working together. Yay, how inspirational. Okay, bye-bye. That's all. Of course, Commander. All right, so we have to go and save his son. Let's see what Rex wants to talk about. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. <laughs> right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. How do you I figure? with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Of course you did. Uh-huh. <laughs> you said one of your squads is missing. They were scouting out the Ragnite Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. 
Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Okay. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. That's not good. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. Okay. Uh, after the cure. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. Good job. Glad to hear it. Really, I'd want revenge. No, glad to hear it for sure. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. <laughs> but war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. All right, I like your attitude. Tuchanka. What's the situation back on Tuchanka? I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take to Chunka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in our time. This does not bode well. All right, female Krogan. Back on Sir Kesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things <laughs> out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. Then talk about it some more. No offense. <laughs> Believe it or not, we sometimes have good ideas, Rex. You should try listening. Yeah, but our women have so many of them. <laughs> so sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too. <laughs> Which means he got his butt kicked. Okay. <laughs> the Rachni. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. I remember. It may not be Rachni, but maybe it is. Could be another invasion. If they're crawling out from under some rock, you know how bad it could get. We need to stop them. Alright. That's all. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. And Shepard, I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but it's progress. <laughs> Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? All right. Yep. You give Morden what he needs. He's a good guy. We like Morden. Okay. Let's see. We'll head back out. So I guess we can go talk with the Krogan, and we'll go see if anyone else has anything to say as well. Do you think the Salarians have a base on their homeworld secured better? Nah, they were solid. Cerberus has Reaper tech. Compared to those upgrades, the Salarians might as well have been throwing rocks. I'll take your word for it. Hey, trainer, what's up? Commander. We've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachunka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. Okay. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. <laughs> You'll be okay? Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, I kind of want to agree with her. Let's agree with her. And this is just with a skeleton crew. You should see this ship when it's fully staffed. Oh, uh, no, Commander. I'm not complaining. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now? Idi, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. 
The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of the shoebox. All right. Do, 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 do. Let's see if I have mail. Info for you. Hi, Shepard. It's been a while. I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth and that Liara's with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we could have done. Can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin, and of tripping over that drone. I don't even know how it kept finding me in a ship that big, even after I turned off its tracking. I dug up some interesting information for you. Talk with Glyph to sort out the data. I hope it helps, Shepard. It's getting rough out there. Farron. Yay! Holding the line from Major Kirahi. Commander Shepard, it was a pleasure seeing you again on Sirkesh, even if the circumstances were less than ideal. It seems that fate has decided our meetings coincide with galactic threats. <laughs> so be it. To that end, I wanted to reiterate that STG will be there to help when the need arises, regardless of the political climate. You were there for us in, an hour, in our hour of need. We look forward to returning the favor. Best of luck, Major Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, Special Tasks Group. Hooray! ANN alert! New article on indoctrination. From Alliance News Network Information Partners. Thessia. Asari scientist Rana Thanoptis, ah, I remember her, has died in cost custody, allegedly committing suicide after she was arrested for the murder of multiple Asari military officials. Prior to her death, investigators said Thanoptis spoke of voices in her head which they believed to be indicative of her indoctrination. The voices foretold the ascension of the Asari and that Thanoptis, uh, and told Thanoptis that anyone fighting the Reapers needed to die. Thanoptis worked on a top secret project for former Spectre Saren Artarius several years ago, where she likely became indoctrinated. She received a pardon from the Asari government in exchange for providing research assistance on Reaper technology. Thanoptis was believed responsible for planting a makeshift explosive device that detonated a research center, killing five visiting Atsari military officials along with four civilians. The attack seriously wounded a dozen more and caused significant damage to the facility. Investigators seek, say they are not seeking more suspects in the case. Yay, good job me for letting her go. That was a good choice. 